For more than seven years, the communities between Buffalo and Jamestown have been without access to a fully equipped health care facility. Lakeshore Health Care Center closed its doors in 2020. This left Brooks Memorial as the only medical facility in northern Chautauqua County. The major concern was Brooks Memorial being understaffed, outdated, and occasionally has had to suspend certain kinds of care. Well, back in May of last year, dozens of Chautauqua County residents told 7 News that they feel forgotten with only one hospital offering care to an entire community and fear and frustration grew in the southern tier. And those fears being echoed tonight in Dunkirk. Now, workers and hospital leaders at Brooks Memorial Hospital being joined tonight by concerns, neighbors and elected officials all looking for answers on what is causing the delays to modernize the outdated facility. Our Johnson person turning over the mic tonight as a voices of Chautauqua County fight to get the care that they need. It's just time to move forward. Uh, you promised us money seven years ago and uh, it's seven years too late. It needs to go now. Dozens of people, including nurses at Brooks Memorial Hospital in Chautauqua County, gathered Tuesday night to voice their concerns. The state promised funds for a new $71 million micro hospital in Fredonia, but has yet to release the money. It's becoming dire. Um, the building is almost becoming, I would say, dilapidated. It's falling apart. It needs repairs that are very costly. And also, honestly, it's cost ineffective. Um, you spend most of your money fixing something instead of putting in, uh, needing new technologies to help take care of patients, giving the staff what they need to take care of patients, trying to enter, you know, 2024, and instead it feels like you're entering 1980. Other nurses say the conditions of the current hospital is unsanitary. There have been times where we've been without hot water. I've worked in or seen almost every department. The building's outdated. Um, things are breaking. We deserve a new building for our patients and our staff. The CEO of Brooks Memorial says the faster they get a new hospital, the more efficient the health care system in the county will be. I always to take care of just as many patients in a, a smaller square footage, right? Uh, also allow us to provide greater access to other communities in the area. And as far as our sustainability goals, as I indicated in any, many others, hospitals alone, when they stand alone, are not very sustainable. They have to be partnered with a with a larger health care system in order to be sustainable. The mayor of Fredonia is standing side by side with the hospital and calling on the state to release the funding. Just for knowing you alone, we're well over 10,000 residents plus the town of Pomfret, plus you're talking about thousands and thousands of residents that need this health care. And Chautauqua County has had a mass exodus of people for a number of years, and this will help us retain those residents, bring new residents to the community, new doctors. This isn't just about a quality of life, it's also about jobs. There will be a rally in downtown Buffalo at 1.30 p.m. this Friday to address the delays in building a new hospital for the people of Chautauqua County. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.